Olivia Atwood has joked that she feels fresh out of the womb after undergoing her latest filler session. The former Love Island star, who came third with Chris Hughes on the 2017 series of the ITV2 dating show, took to her Instagram stories to share details of her latest tweakments. Olivia, 30, told her fans to ask her anything to distract me from my exhaustion, and they didn't disappoint. What have you exactly had done to your face, I need to know what to ask for, one follower asked her. Do we tell them? Olivia asked as she tagged her doctor into the post. Well, I did have my tear troughs and Botox topped up the other day and I'm feeling like I'm fresh out of the womb, she quipped. Tear troughs, more commonly known as eye bags, is the deep crease between the lower eye and top of the cheek. The procedure is designed to decrease the puffiness underneath the eyelid, as well as helping to eradicate the dark circles. Olivia is a big fan of fillers and Botox, and during the first COVID-19 lockdown, she complained her face was melting as she was unable to top up her treatments. Olivia was deflated after the restrictions imposed to contain the virus prevented her from having her nails done, as well as getting her fake tan maintained. I'm not getting any younger so I like a few enhancements and a bit of Botox, but that's all gone. I feel like I'm melting away, I look at the mirror and say, who is this girl? I don't know her, she moaned to the sun. The only way is Essex star is making sure 2022 is a busy year, and she was recently spotted leaving a porn studio on Tuesday during filming for her new documentary series. Olivia was at the X-rated location to shoot scenes for the new show Getting Filthy Rich, which will air on ITV2 later this year. During the Q&A on her Instagram stories, Olivia was asked by one nosy fan if she would be making a long-awaited return to TOWIE. However, she shot down the rumors, as she compared herself to Beyonce. Oh no! No plans. Like Beyonce I think I definitely perform better as a solo artist, she quipped.